one last one for uh, shits and giggles. the map without building some traps so four upgrade points 20,000 actually 20,000 XP is nice so the other thing is here are the skills so pretty much I've maxed out my basic attack because it at least the basic portion of my basic attack because it is my most powerful um, wow lacking words my most powerful asset there we go uh, and then after that, so you have your actives, you have passives, then you have some that affect traps. So this one's not bad, it's just I don't really get around to using it. Actually, I'm gonna go with my bash to be my one. Where is it? I want that to be my two. to actually be my secondary attack and then I'll have that much more comfortable that way is something I've been meaning to do for a while um, what reset does is for every 200 gold you can move around a stat point um, technically what do I have yeah as it stands right now I kind of like my uh, minimum or my current setup so I won't be moving that much around but uh, the same thing applies for traps so you have basic passive abilities which increase the base level damage and then you have all the upgrade ones that you saw me doing earlier so when it comes to I have my sentry units I have the blast furnace I have my phoenix pillar which is essentially a rocket launcher I don't really use these as rocket pillar much not compared to See the increase for reset is increasing. Um, not quite sure where I want to put it because I didn't use that. I, it's true, I barely use this. So yeah, thankfully you can get a lot of money, and um, in levels with sub goals, uh, there's other monsters that aren't part of actual waves that can only be defeated in waves. They will drop keys, bronze keys, silver keys, and these add an extra chest and the level of the key denotes how good of stuff you're actually going to get. And a lot of the time it drops a significant amount of gold for, uh, mostly I use gold for this. Uh, the equipment I get pretty well into drops. archers in the back, so there's no point in putting skill points into that. Uh, considering I use this more than anything, why did I do that? Um, and I have one left. Go figure. thing with a lot of these it's you really have to think about how you're going to play it uh, I don't really use I'm not using ice with him so yeah I can rack up pretty big bills sometimes just because I'm like ooh I want to do it this way instead tier 2 is. I'm honestly afraid that this is going to end in a complete and utter disaster. Um, times 2. Right, no summon traps. Ooh! All that is just mean. Oh no, few. Those are magic traps. Um, more money not upgraded. I can at least slow them. 
actually, while you're uh, in your build phase, you can um, sell stuff without it costing anything. So the slow is going to put them into this lovely range of massive damage. Then they're going to go through fire, and then they're going to hit the spring back into the fire. So I figure that's worth it. I fully upgraded that one in particular just because it is the last line. around in the central aisle. Uh, what's this guy? Ah, yes. And there are some maps that you have to start using the empower beacons because you're going to need every edge that you can. You know, they say don't use summon traps, but they don't actually make a lot of places with summon traps. So now I just need to really worry about the middle aisle for the first wave. And even without massive upgrades, that, um, that tower should do a decent amount. Don't judge me, I just swung at air. I trust that that's going to do a decent amount of damage. Um, there are certain things that I'd rather not leave to uh, fate to decide. Like I said, sometimes they can boost them forward depending on uh, how far they move. The great thing is you do not take damage from your own traps. Oh dear, I'm already going up against these things. Oh crap. Uh, I should have left my spinny ice on my one key. Having moved Bash over, I'm finding it very useful, mind you. So, at least it's a good for a bad, but at least the other one doesn't cost money to.
waves to go through, but uh, considering they almost went through last wave, mildly worried that I'm also playing on hard compared to earlier. I had it set to, well, no, I suppose one is arbitrary, but the next one was artificially because I set my potions a little bit less. for that red glow sometimes because I you're so intent on how much health they actually have left that without that red glow yeah that'd be at least a respawn uh, the issue with the respawn is every time you die that's one point that comes out of your uh, defense pool so dying is just as bad as letting a monster through and sometimes potions do not uh, Or they don't feel like they respawn fast enough. Stack that is perfect. That should be enough. Oh, yeah, my fury. So for every enemy I kill, and it's stackable. kill and it's stackable, it can increase my damage up to a factor of five, and from that point, it just makes it last longer. I love those Phoenix Towers. Bursting with creatures. 
death trap. I mean, you really have to play and experiment and figure out which class really works for you. Because I did a basic run of all three classes, and my player two uses. So, my mercenary is 24. My sorceress is level 6. I used her for a little bit. Her ice abilities are very useful, but she's more of a support. You need to have somebody else, and I took him for a basic spin. Which the class wasn't too bad, but since she was playing this class, I figured that I'd stick to, you know, my tank. And uh, honestly, all three classes play very well. And honestly, if they decide to do a fourth class eventually or have some cross classing, that'd also be kind of cool. But uh, hopefully they're hard at work on Van Helsing 3, and I cannot wait for that. So thanks, and uh, 